Hi everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing our full face of makeup using Korean makeup. If you guys have been watching my channel for like two weeks, you probably saw my huge Korean makeup haul from YesStyle and you guys wanted to see me do Korean makeup using Korean makeup on myself. So yeah, you guys thought it would be fun for me to not only do my makeup with Korean makeup, but try and follow some Korean techniques for makeup and I was kind of confused because I'd never really noticed or heard of it but I googled it and there are a few techniques for instance circulating lip tint in more in the middle than the outside also a little bit more straighter brows and just a lot less eye makeup it's less heavy so <laughs> I'm excited. Initially, the idea for this video was I was just gonna do some normal fun makeup. I didn't really plan it or anything. But now that I'm gonna be following some techniques, I'm going to have to try way harder to make sure I'm doing it right. So without further ado, let's see how this goes. Let's begin. Oh, and I just wanna quickly put this out here. It is like a disclaimer. I'm not trying to be offensive at all by imitating some Korean makeup tips. I'm sure they're not just exclusively Korean, but when I was watching makeup tutorials, I saw the same thing repeated a few times. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I don't wanna like label anything. I don't think anything about this will come off offensive, especially because you guys asked for a video like this, but I just wanna put a disclaimer that I'm not trying to be offensive. I don't mean any disrespect and I really hope it doesn't come off that way. I don't think it will, but I just wanna put a disclaimer in. So yeah, okay. Now we can get started. So the first thing that I noticed while watching a lot of these makeup tutorials was a lot of the girls put in circle lenses and I was sad because I don't have circle lenses, but I do have these other contact lenses and I thought it would be fun to try them. They're supposed to be like this light brown. My eyes are kind of like a brownie green when you get really up close. I wish I had circle lenses, but hopefully these are just as good. So I'm gonna try and put those in. I am so scared. <laughs> I'm not really the best at putting in lenses, but that kind of made me look like a cat. I'm gonna put the other one in. I'm not gonna judge yet. That was difficult. I got them in, they feel weird. I feel messed up. I was hoping they would substitute as circle lenses, but I think they're giving a completely different vibe and I don't 100% love it. But I'm gonna leave them on and just see if I can get used to them, but I might end up taking them out. So in my haul video, I asked you guys which face mask I should use, and you all voted for the snail mask, the one I was scared of. Thanks a lot, you guys. Oh, there's a few English words on the back. It says, contains snail secretion filtrate. I need to Google what that means. It's snail mucin. What is snail mucin? Okay, I don't know. Let's open this up. Oh, it smells good. That makes me feel a little better. All right, let's throw it on. Ooh, it's cold. Okay, so since I don't know how long this should stay on for, I'm just gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes and I will be right back. <laughs> All right, take it off. Ooh, wow, my face is really red. Oh. I don't know if I'm supposed to wash it off. That's the issue. Like sometimes these sheet masks you're supposed to blend into your skin and some of them you're supposed to wash off. Look how red my skin, you know what? I think I better wash it off. Yeah, you guys can let me know down below, but for now I'm gonna wash it off because my face is reacting. Okay, so the tutorial I watched said that you should fill your eyebrows first with powder and then go over with little pencils and do like hair strokes and also try and ignore the rash that is breaking out on my entire face. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore it. So first things first, I'm just going to take this little powder and just brush it through my eyebrows really gently. And I'm gonna try and straighten my eyebrows out a little bit. So I'm gonna fill in this little arc right here, hopefully to get that sort of shape. Okay, so now that I have a really rough idea of what I want my eyebrow shape to look like, I'm going to take this Tony Moly Lovely Eyebrow Pencil. It's just really thin and I'm going to fill it in kind of as brush strokes. Brush strokes? <laughs> Okay, and I'm also gonna fill in the front just a little because I personally need to do that. 
There we go, there are the eyebrows on. I tried to make them kind of straight and a little bit thicker than I would usually go because that's what I saw in a lot of the tutorials. Um, I really like the way they look actually. I like the straight underneath. So the next thing that we're gonna use is this Naked Face Balancing Primer. And the reason why I chose a balancing primer right now is because I'm hoping it will get rid of this redness that I'm having going on. So here is this. It's got these like purple, green, orange, little beads in it so let's squirt a little bit of that out all right that's probably enough it's very scented it smells like perfume it smells good but very scented probably one of the worst things you can do is put something over a face that's reacting but i gotta film this video like no time to react skin no time all right there is that primer it feels a little bit sticky but the places that have been on longer are no longer sticky so i think it's going to dry down um it definitely evened out my skin a little bit not entirely though obviously because it's really reacting but for the most part, it looks pretty good. I think on a normal day, if I put this on, it would really reduce the redness. So the foundation, or in this case, a BB cream that I decided to use was this Super Plus Beblish Balm Original BB Anti-Wrinkle and Whitening UV Protection. And it says BB, so I instantly think BB cream. But when I tried it in my haul, it was definitely thicker than a BB cream. So this is a whitening BB cream, which I saw a lot of in the videos just to make your skin look a little bit brighter. That is a nice coverage. Ooh, that is really nice. It almost feels like it has like some sort of cooling property to it. Like my skin is feeling soothed by this. Okay, now my under eyes are looking very dark. I actually look so much like a vampire right now. So, and the contacts aren't helping. So we gotta put some concealer on. This is the ink concealer and this is in the shade I don't know. I thought it would be a little dropper because of this, but it's just for show. Once again, that concealer was a really nice coverage and also a more dewy finish, which I don't mind because my skin is quite dry. So having dewy mixed with it mixes quite well. I'm just going to take this uh, Play 101 stick and I just gotta do the underneath. Okay, I'm not trying to use a lot of bronzer or contour, but I had to do that. I just needed it. All right, now we are gonna set our makeup. So I have this loose powder and I also have this pore packed powder. So I'm gonna use this one around my nose where I have pores and this one under my eyes. And we're gonna take a flash test. I don't think any of these claim to not flash back, but we'll see. Tap, tap. I don't wanna set too much all over my face because I still want it to look dewy and natural. I'm just gonna use a little powder puff and try tapping it because it said pour on it so I wonder if it's for pores. I don't know. All right my skin looks really nice and set. Let's take a flash picture. Okay I look actually like a zombie but it didn't flash back. It looks pretty good actually. All right here's the image. Looks good. Not bad, my eyes look insane, <laughs> but okay. Okay, I think this is the last face product. I'm gonna use this I'm Shading palette, and I'm just going to take the Sand Beige and also Skin Gold. I'm just going to dust a little bit of this on my cheekbones. I don't wanna bronze too much, but I'm just gonna put a little bit. And then I'm gonna highlight with this Skin Gold. That is really super natural. It's a nice, pretty shade but it is really natural. You can't get a blinding highlight with this one. Okay, so that is the eyebrows and the face base all done. And now we are going to move into eyes, but first I need a snack. So first thing for eyes that I'm going to do is I have this little adorable palette and I'm just going to start off by taking this shade right here. I'm just gonna dust that all over my eyelid like so. And then I'm gonna take this uh, a little bit darker brown, it's still matte, and I'm just gonna drag that on my lash line. And I'm also gonna take that same shade and just put it on the lower lash line, really close to my lashes. Okay, so that is the extent of the eyeshadow I'm going to be doing. Now moving on into eyeliner. So I have this little eyeliner, so I'm just gonna rip it open rip it open and now the eyelining style i usually do like big wings that go up but this time i'm going to try and do a little wing that goes a little bit downward so 
we'll see if I can do this. And this is just a felt tip liquid eyeliner. So let's give it a go. Okay, so there is the eyeliner all done. I connected it a little bit with eyeshadow underneath, but now we are going to put on some mascara. I have this Lash Perm Proof Mascara from Etude House, and I'm gonna apply just a little bit of mascara, and then I think I might put on some lashes. I like the look of this wand, so hopefully it works good. These types of wands for me are like the easiest ones to use, the small and curvy. Okay, so now I have these little lashes to try on. I wanted to keep them a little bit natural. These are in 01 Nude, and here is what they look like. See, they're just like these really natural looking lash. Wow, that's cool, okay. I'm gonna try and put it mainly in the center of my eyelid. Okay, so there are those eyelashes on. I think they're really cute. They're not super long and not super Sorry, I'm like with the <laughs> They're not super long and they're not super voluptuous, but I, that's kind of what I thought when I looked at them. I think they're cute and I like them. So the consensus on my last video was that I needed to try this two-tone lipstick, so I'm doing it. And you guys said that I should keep the darkness in the center and I saw that a lot in the tutorials I was watching, so I'm gonna do that. That does not look right. I'm just trying to lighten it up near the ends. Because I really want it to look like the inside is the darkest and then the outside is the lightest. And over that, I'm going to put this Dear Darling tint. This is the cutest packaging. This smells amazing. And I'm just going to put that in the center. That is the lip look I was like going for. Okay, here is the finished makeup look using all Korean makeup and following a few beauty tips and tricks that I found from some Korean beauty vloggers on YouTube. Uh, I'll actually link them down below, the ones I watched if you guys are curious, but here's the finished look. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this makeup turned out and more importantly, I think these products were amazing. I loved the BB cream. I could see myself using that in the summer all the time just for a natural look. The eyebrow pencil was great. These eyelashes were super cute. Eyeshadow was great. Lip product, great. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more of my videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I was gonna be done, but now I wanna see what it looks like without contacts. Oh my gosh, it might look better without contacts in. Does it look better without contacts in? Why did I even wear those that whole time? Okay guys, so the makeup looks way better without contacts in, so just quickly take this in. Forget I even wore the contacts. Forget it.